And if you haven't subscribed, I would truly appreciate if you would do that too. Next one is from John. Hey, Lars, new to your channel, which I... He actually didn't say, hey, Lars. He just jumped right into it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> new to your channel, which I, I... I sometimes shorten the link these a little bit. New to your channel, which I appreciate all your videos, and new to Fusion 360. Uh, there are two options to set the coordinate box up in the right uh, top corner with either YZ at the top, and you choose Y. Other videos on YouTube, uh, it is with Z up. Uh, just a preference or what's the reason I think this is kind of interesting uh, some people what we're talking about is this view queue up here uh, I think this is kind of fun um, some people might not but it's kind of interesting so if you open a new document you will see that mine is Z up Z up uh, yes you can switch this um, and that's how it used to be if you go into preferences and you set it to y up hit apply hit okay you're gonna have to open up a new drawing before it switches around but now you can see it switch around here on the new drawing this is how i'm doing it this is what is default now in fusion uh this is uh how it used to be uh in fusion this goes way back this is not fusion this is actually standard mechanical cad so back in the 80s, 70s, 80s, when somebody started to do uh, solid modeling, somebody decided that in solid modeling, in, in CAD modeling, uh, that the front view here is the zero view uh, in 3D CAD. Um, and the main reason that I've heard for that is that then your Y and your X is like a graph. Uh, right, like if you're doing a graph back in school, your Y would be up and your X goes over. Now, anybody who's done manufacturing, like me, or 3D printing, thinks that this is stupid. <laughs> right, like this is stupid. Nobody, even an architect, thinks this is stupid. Z, Z should always be up. Uh, but this was decided, you know, back in the 70s, uh, that that was what they did. And every CAD company kind of like followed that model afterwards. I used to use SolidWorks. SolidWorks had it like this. Um, Inventor has it like this. Fusion started out having like this. But as more and more Fusion become more and more um, a manufacturing software with 3D printing and CAM and stuff like that, um, somebody on the Fusion development team was like, well, why don't we go in and at least give people an, an opportunity to change it? Because there is no rules on what should where it should be. Um, it could be one way or the other way. There's no rules for it. Um, but it just made sense to most of us that uh, Z is up. And that's how most of us working with it. Um, so no rules. So if you get a drawing from somebody where it is the, the old fashioned way, you can't really get mad about it because it's just how it is. Um, but yeah, I hope that that maybe made it a little bit easier for you to kind of understanding why it's been flipped around. But there is no rules. And I have set mine to Z up because it just makes sense when you're doing cam and when you're 3D printing. Um, so hope that was a good question. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. That is okay. Um, all right. 